much juicy, everybody. As you guys know, I released the Guava Juice Box Holiday Box Edition. I will be signing some boxes, and who knows? You might get one. So get your Guava Juice Box Holiday Box Edition box at guavajuicebox.com. Comment down below, what's your name? That is crazy. Oh, that's weird. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to a new series. This series is going to be called Chocolate versus Real. You guys love my series that is called Gummy versus Real, where I take gummy foods and I take the real food, compare it to it, and eat it. This time, it's the same thing, except instead of gummies, we got some chocolate food. Same concept. We'll go five rounds. Each round gets a little bit weirder and weirder. And we're going to see. If you guys really like it, I'll do another episode. If not, then I'm just going to eat all the chocolate I have in storage. <laughs> Welcome to Guava Juice Chocolate versus Real! Chocolate versus Real! Underneath these things are the things. I don't know what is in it prior to the video, so I'm gonna be just as surprised as you Guava Juicers. A tree? It's a Christmas tree? We have here a Christmas tree, and here we have the chocolate. That's pretty cool. Oh man, this is kind of awesome. Really quickly, let me just try out the real food real quick. Oh, this is a weird vegetable. Okay, that's the weirdest vegetable I have ever eaten and put in my mouth. This thing's really hard to unwrap, to be honest. I'm not sure where to start. Should I start up through here? Oh, here we go. I found it. Look at that Christmas tree! We have a whole bunch of ornaments. We got some leaves. We got some merry-go-Christmas thing. So here we go. Let's try this one out. Oh, it was very hollow inside too. Mm. It tastes like chocolate. <laughs> Duh. In comparison to the two, I'm gonna have to give round one the chocolate Christmas tree. Just cause this one doesn't really have flavor. I don't think it's edible. We can plug it in at least. Wow. The lights definitely gave it a little bit of flair. It changes colors too. On to round number two. Three, two, one. Oh, it's chicken! <laughs> we got some chicken in here! Wow! I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so hungry. So if this is chicken, this is going to be chocolate chicken. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. Bam! Wait! <laughs> what is that? What is this? What happened? This is not a chicken. It melts it during shipping. Oh, dude, that sucks. Apparently, we did have a really nice looking chicken, but it melted. Look at the eyeball. The eyeball is like melted. And I feel like that's where the head is supposed to be. But since it melted, the head deformed and then melted right. Look at the eyeball, though. That's definitely an eyeball. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely an eyeball. All right. So uh, let's compare the two. This is going to be a really hard round because you're comparing chicken with chocolate. The best part of the chicken is not this part. It's the thigh because, you know, it's, it's juicy. That's why you got to stay juicy. That's why I like it probably. Oh, look at that. Oh, mm. oh, mm. all right, good. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know what to say. That, that chicken was really good. Let's do the chocolate chicken. I'm just a little bit sketched out. If this thing melted during shipping, I wonder if it changed the whole, you know, ingredients formula. I wonder if it's poisonous. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, that piece tasted weird. Let me try another piece. Uh -uh. The texture of this chicken, I guess since it melted during shipping, it tastes like chalk. It's not smooth like the Christmas tree. It's weird. So I'm going to have to give this round to the real chicken. Mm. It's good. <laughs> you know what's better? If you just crisp the outside of the chicken. So what I have here this. There you go. All right. It should taste good now, huh? Mm. 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 That's so good. Let's try the chocolate chicken. Let's see how crispy you are. That. <laughs> Ew! Yeah, that just burnt. Round three, let's go. All right, round number three. Let's see what is under this thing. Here we go. I'll let you guys see it before I do. One, two, three. Well, what is it? What is it? I don't. I don't know. Here we go. What is that? Fish? Is this fish? All right, we're about to find out right here. I'm gonna say this is fish balls. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, wait, it's a shark? All right, here we go. Let's try this out. This is a shark. Is this safe to eat? This is real shark. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mmm. Huh. Whoa, that's good. It's tough and chewy. Most of their body is just muscle. It's really good, though. 
It's just really hard to eat because it's so tough. Dude, I haven't done like these kinds of videos in a while, so I really miss it. It brings back the days when I did the gummy versus real. You guys want me to do another one? Comment down below. I stopped it because you guys didn't like it anymore. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of seafood because I'm allergic to like almost all of it. I'm probably gonna die after this. Hopefully not. All right, let's try this shark. The chocolate shark, the tail has snapped off, but it's okay. All right, we're gonna perform surgery to connect your tail again. Does that work? Oh, no, that did not do anything. All right, anyways, let's try out this shark, this chocolate shark. Three, two, one. Mm. Oh. Mm. Very different, a lot better than the chocolate chicken. It's not as good as the chocolate Christmas tree, but this shark has just a little hint of mint. So there's a little bit of minty flavor along with chocolate. Do you guys like mint with chocolate? I like it sometimes, not all the time though, but it's refreshing. What happens when you add two sharks together? Mm. You get a chocolate shark shark. I <laughs> get it? Huh. This one's hard. This one's good, but that one's good. But this could be better, and this is good, but I don't like seafood. So I'm gonna have to give the winner to round three to the real shark. It's like surprisingly good. Like you see it? It's like these little squishy thingies. Look at that. But it's really good. I'm not a big fan of the mint, but if it was like the taste of the chocolate Christmas tree, I would have liked this shark a lot better. Round four, let's go! <laughs> Um, there are five rounds. Each round gets weirder and weirder as you can see from the shark. I am going to assume and guess that this is a weird one. Bang. What is this? Is this a Hot Pocket? It looks like a toaster strudel or something. Oh, that definitely does not smell like a toaster strudel. That's more like seawater. All right, this is definitely something in the ocean or water of some sort. So I'm gonna say fish, but we just did shark, so I don't think it's fish. Am I right? In three, two, one. What is it? Oh, yeah! It's a crocodile or an alligator. I don't even know. Is it a crocodile or alligator? Alligator? We have an alligator right here. I've had alligator, but not this beefy thingy. Uh, alligator, real life alligator. In three, two, one. Mmm. <sighs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's really, really tough. That's all I could say. It tastes okay. I think my mind is saying like, hey, you're eating an alligator. You should spit that out. They live in the swamp. In my mind, I'm like, oh my, I'm eating swamp water. I mean, I guess I could try it again. Here we go. Huh? <laughs> Who's that? My dog is barking. Let's try the chocolate alligator this time. Ready? This one tastes weird too, I don't know. It's not as pleasant as I hope. In a way, this thing kind of tastes a little stale. It's like chocolate with no flavor. It's bitter. That's what it tastes like, it's bitter. Ew, it looks like a poop poop. Ew. <laughs> nope. All right, this one's a little bit hard, because um, one, it's bitter. It's not flavorful. All right, for the first time in these series, I'm gonna have to give it a draw. These two are equally not good. Let's move on to the final round, okay? We need to get the final round over with, because there's gonna be a weird one. I know it's gonna be weird. I didn't pick out these things, and I know that it's gonna be weird, so let's go. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, is this a heart? Oh, that's a heart! You can see the artery holes right there. Oh! What kind of heart is this? Human. Human heart? No! Pork. You sure? It's probably not human. It's not human, so it's pork. Okay, I'm just gonna say this is pork heart. Oh my gosh, that is crazy! Look at that! Look at the inside of the heart! This is where blood goes in and out. Oh, that's weird. Alright, well, let's see the chocolate heart. In three, two, one, boom! Yo, that is cool. They look very similar to one another. Oh, that is so tight. We have the two artery holes right here, and then we have two artery holes right here. One, two. Look, we even have the veins. You see the veins here? We even have veins right here. That is insane looking. Wait, do I have to eat this one? You know this is raw, right? You gotta do it. I'm gonna get sick. It smells like metal. Why is it not cooked? Fine. Oh, you're scaring me. Just kidding, we had cooked ones all along. Oh. Man, you guys had cooked ones all along. Okay, so this is what a cooked heart looks like. Ooh, yikes. These are a little red. Is that good? Pork heart. Here, yeah, three, two, one. Ah, oh my. Why does it taste like metal? Why does heart taste like metal? Oh, I can still taste it in my mouth. Wow, that tastes so weird. I think it's because blood goes in and out of it so much it marinated the whole heart. That is weird. Here we go. This is the chocolate heart. In three, two, one, go. It tastes like metal! 
I'm just kidding. It tastes good. <laughs> oh! It's not like the Christmas tree where you bite it and there's like nothing inside. This whole thing is a chocolate. All right, seriously, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to crack the heart so you guys can see that there is stuff inside. It's been a long day without you, my friend. But the heart was just so heavy that it cracked the plate. Yeah, dude, heavy hearts to the plate for your death. <laughs> It's like a rock. Like, you can see that it's so dense. Yeah, like my heart. My heart is so dense. Did you know your heart is actually in the middle, but then you feel it on your left side because the blood pumps on the left side. But your heart's actually right here. Fun facts, huh? Fun facts! All right, well, I gotta get new plates, I guess. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. I seriously didn't mean to do that. It's just crazy how heavy this heart is. The winner of the last round goes to the chocolate heart. It's just filled with chocolate, which is insane. You can use this as a weapon, dude. Look at that. You see how flat that thing got? That is insane. All right, well, thank you for watching today's chocolate versus real food. If you really enjoyed this episode, let me know. Let's get this video to 100,000 likes. Now let me know that you guys really love these seeds. All right, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy, everyone.